Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Dark Souls 2 PvP Duels. Today I have the great opportunity to duel against one of my favorite YouTube uploaders and Twitch streamers against Jutas. And these fights went pretty well. They were amazing fights and so much fun. And I did include all of them in this video. So it might be a bit long. I hope you stay with me. I have never done a half an hour commentary on this video, but it's worth it. I say it, it's worth it. Okay, so first of all, to my build, I am using a pretty standard dex, pure dex build, and I try to use as a good variety of dex weapons. So like you see here, the Chaos Blade, which is I think the best dex weapon I have. Mailbreaker, I didn't use it later in the game, in the fights. Um, a show tell, of course, a whip, uh, but no old whip, uh, a twin blade, and so on. A few different weapons. Also, my armor setup is normal. I wanted um, another armor, another, another helm, which would be the um, Katrina Helm, which I also use at my Yojimbo build PvP, but um, I hadn't it. I hadn't the DLC at that time, and I would have had to go into the DLC to get it or farm. But it's another story. So, um, Jutas's um, build is a pretty interesting build that I have never seen like that in PvP. He's using... Uh, his main theme of this build is that he can fast roll with Iron Flash on. Iron Flash, for those who don't know what it is, uh, it's just making your skin and your armor iron, but in Dark Souls 2 it's more like silver, um, silver thing, um, and for that adding uh, uh, obscure amount of um, weight to your equip burn. So, in order to, uh, if you want to fast roll in it, you have to do a special build like he did here. And I've never seen Iron Flash used in PvP at any time, so it's interesting. And I have to say, it's Iron Flash, it's, it's kinda ridiculous because. This, his defense is so incredibly high with Iron Flash on, and yeah, <laughs> but it's what's so much fun to fight against him. And he also used the Mace of the Insolent in this right hand, which is an which has some advantages and some disadvantages. Being his advantage, um, he can cast instantly without swapping to any chime or so, um, his uh, lovely, um, uh, what isn't, what is it, force, force spell, which he uses to stun people, like he tried here, and then attacking with his weapon, which is cool. Uh, also, you don't see force used that often in PvP. So, pretty uncommon um, build and pretty fun to fight against, I say it again. Disadvantage of the Maze of the Insolent, of course, being that you can't, that you don't have any R2s. You don't have R2s. And you are limited in your physical attack moves. Yeah. Which is a kind of bad thing, but he makes the best out of it and he's playing pretty damn good and wrecking my face. Normally I should be pretty OP with my build. He also said in his dueling video, that I recommend checking out if you haven't already, in his dueling video where he duels against me, um, that he is now, after these fights, after he dueled a bit with this setup, he's f far better with this and would, um, and it actually hurts him <laughs> watching these videos that he is so bad and would play much better now. So I think now he would wreck my face even more, <laughs> like he did in this video. 
so um yeah as f uh, it goes to the rings we both use the um blue tearstorm ring that Jutas loves and I also think it's pretty good to ring and in the end it ended up that we both are low on health and red tearstone ringing each other uh, blue tearstone ringing each other all the time and in the end even leading to a few double kills which were pretty funny to do so it's awesome it's awesome and yeah he was also casting constant fireballs to kinda um, change between his iron flash build up because it ends after 30 seconds and his f um, fireball um, casting so that I don't know when he uh, uses iron flash and attack in there and I won I won yes 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 <laughs> it was my first victory um, also if you um, I also recommend checking out you Jutas says channel <laughs> I keep saying Jutas says channel and the dueling video against me um, is named Jutas Must Die and there's no commentary on it just after the video but for that you have uh, great graphics he uses Gito Seto and records in 1080p I think which I do don't because my computer can't handle it my PC and he also does so quite good job on editing this so I um, really say you should check out if you first have seen this video and not his uh, view of this yeah also after the, he uploaded this fight against me and recommended my channel I got a bunch of new subscribers to them welcome on my channel and thank you for subscribing I hope you have a good time watching my videos and feel free to um, write in the comments a few um, opinions of you how I should and um, cook co <laughs> words could um, improve my commentary and um, duels and what I should do some special cosplays or something you can send me everything you want also my channel consists of these PvP duels if you want to duel me just add me on Steam or contact me on YouTube and let's see what we can do. I'm on PC, I don't own any console and console game, so be sure you do that. <laughs> so, anyways, let's start with this commentary to the fights actually. Here, I discovered that the Shotel is actually an awesome weapon and I use it as my main weapon to duel against him and he said he was pretty afraid of it I think he said that didn't he say that I don't know um, we both did a pretty good job at mixing up our attacks and with um, throwing nice fire bombs heavy um, small attacks his jump attacks that pancaked me all the time and ouch you saw that Chaos Blade. Fuck. <laughs> Chaos Blade wrecked me there completely because it does self damage um, in order to do more damage to the opponent. So I shouldn't have done this here. And teleport backstab for the win. But I don't complain. There wasn't even that much backstabbing in our fight, so they were pretty cool. Except of his attempt. <laughs> But I don't think he always wanted to do this. The game is just sometimes messing up and saying you are gonna backstab now and again and again and you s you just want to attack him from behind when he's just vulnerable. Here I also switch to a spear in my offhand. The normal spear called spear, 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 and mm, I got a few. Um, parries in with my show tail, which is ridiculous. The parry timing of the curved swords got patched so that the parry frames are almost instantly, and it's ridiculous but ridiculous. Ah, English. 
But um, I'm not overusing it, so I think it would be okay. Ooh, that jump attack. Red, uh, blue tear stone ring activated. He also had blue tear stone ring mode on, I think. So let's see what we can do out of that. Let's take out Chaos Blade. He's constantly throwing his fi fire bombs, so I think eat my hexing urn. And hmm, show tell. Oh, that, and, wow, that was a pretty surpri su surprising cast of um, force. And he could get a free hit on me, and then he wrecked me with a firebomb that he also throws in um, most times f throws in front of him because everyone, including me, runs uh, rolls into the firebombs. And yeah, you saw that it wrecked my face. I also did that because Jutas said it in one of his um, tutorial videos that you should throw it in front of you. Boom, that trade. Worth it. Totally worth it. But the damage should have been higher. Ouch. That mace. He also says that he likes to use the mace of the insolent because... just because it makes a bell ring sound and he can use his force. What he does here all the time. <laughs> this force is pretty damn dangerous if you fight against Ooh, I traded this. Um, yeah, now I'm low on poise. Eh, uh, low on poise? What? Yeah, low on poise I'm also because there is no fucking poise in this game. <laughs> I'm low on health, I wanted to say. He's casting his iron flesh again. And what should I do? Ouch. Just don't get hit. Cornet, don't get hit. No, I'm usually not speaking to my, talking to myself, but, ouch! Blue tears turning saved me here. Now what am I gonna do? Well, he's wrecking me with force. <laughs> wow! Now intense fight. He's throwing his bomb somewhere there. Also, I did include all the fights. Uh, also, there were a few warm-up fights that we set, but um, I didn't include every fight because I think it's not about a tournament who won who wins more fights, because I didn't. <laughs> it's just about the fun of PvPing, and boom, you saw that that w that parry was so late, and yeah, should be fixed. From soft fix, please. Nerf, please, 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 please. And, yeah. Also, when he casts Force and then does his R1 attacks, it could be that a bug appears so that you don't see him attacking. So it's best just always roll out of his Force cast spell. Yeah. That was a back step. Ladies and gentlemen, a backstep. If you haven't seen it, it's pretty much overused in PvP. <laughs> yeah. So, we are at 14 minutes and I don't have to say anything now. So he's just um, jumping around, <laughs> jumping around with his jumping attacks. He didn't hit me, but yeah, in the end I always get cocky and it ends up to be a blue tearstone ring double fight. It's always like that. It was always like that in this duels, that I got extremely cocky and he sp he just like that. So that, why did I trade? Why did I parry? I don't think, can you, yes, you can parry this the two-handed and you see this now i have the same amount of health like he does this was bullshit of me playing like that i'm so bad i'm so bad <laughs> no i don't think i'm that bad but <laughs> i'm constantly cancelling my um, heavy attacks of this just to mix it up and to be even more unpredictable and i always eat this firebomb in the face of him 
and yeah. What shall I do? What would you do in this situation? <laughs> back hopping. <laughs> he is back hopping me, my attack, I'm back hopping his attack, and in the end, who is winning? I really think he is winning. Oh, if I would have had a normal throwing knife here, but I hadn't, so I had to use my lacerating once. Ooh, uh, yeah, I will just go. <laughs> I will leave, I will leave and come back up. Hello, I'm here. He actually looked at me climbing up the ladder. Ouch. That was a almost double kill, ladies and gentlemen, and just because I was too lazy to buy actually good throwing knives before we fought, he could kill me there. I'm just bad. And rapier? All weapons do almost no damage against this <laughs> iron flesh. It adds, it really adds a ton of poise. Poise, poise? No, not poise, defense. But, again, this situation, we are both, he is low on health, I'm full of health and I'm just getting cocky as fuck and not getting the win in the end, I think. Maybe it could be that I get the win, but it would be uncommon. Ouch, I eat the firebomb there in the face. And yeah, see, maybe I could do something about that. That he is that low on health. <gasps> He's even more low on health. Come on, Conrad, come on, kill him now. Don't mess it up. Don't mess that shit up again. Yes! Yes! I finally again won a match. <laughs> Holy fuck. Yeah, it's. Judas is a real challenge to fight against. Even with his extraordinary uh, builds that he has. And yeah, he's just a. Also, he's a um, parry. parry monster, <laughs> I would say. He parries everything in random PvP. Didn't parry much against me because I had that variety of weapon. Pretty unpredictable. I could have just stand there and trade this, but I didn't. Uh, hit it, hit it. Also, some what I noticed now that I'm watching it, some of the dual wielding moves don't actually make much sense because if you're dual wielding a spear, like I did before, a spear and a scimitar, you're just um, poking with the scimitar, which doesn't actually make makes um, good sense. Oh, that trade. Totally worth it, <laughs> that bit of damage that I did with my lacerating knife against the fireball. <laughs> Ooh, parry. Yeah, that was a um, bit predictable, like his um, force cast and then he walking up to me. I <laughs> was, what should he do, what else should he do again, um, rather than just attacking me. Also, props for Jutas, although I didn't try to backstab him at his jumping attacks and so, because backstabbing, come on, backstabs. Backstabs are fucking ridiculous. Not really, but it's not that fun with backstabs. And mm, he also... Um, what did I even want to say? I already forgot it again. <laughs> My brain is really shitty. Um, Oh yeah, yeah. He didn't want to trade. Oh, lag, lag, lag. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Wow. What the fuck? Okay, lag is gone. <laughs> he didn't want to um, trade everything with his um, iron flesh because he could do that. He's totally in the position to trade. He has a stun locking weapon, a pretty damaging weapon too. A quite damaging weapon, let's call it like that. And he has, I think, more poise, so he doesn't trade, which always is a pro of him fighting. Bam! I traded there. Was worth it. Alright. 
Leg. Yeah. Double kill again. Those double kills were fun as hell. And yes. It's just how it is. Awesome fights. I hope if you see that you can just take an example of how you can fight and, and duel in PvP even at random encounters that it's fun. I'm using many weapons, mixing, uh, mixing it up a bit. When he just jump attacks I don't always um, backstab him. I always don't take all op opportunities to um, stun lock completely. Uh, for example if I hit the um, Chaos, Bl Chaos Blade um, R2, 2 and R2, I could easily chain into a second. I don't know if it's... Whoa, that was dangerous. I don't know if it's possible with this um, Iron Flash that he has that I chain into a second R2, but um, I didn't take all stun locks. And he... Pfft, what the fuck, Cornet? Since when? Did you try to parry fucking jumping attacks? It's not possible, you know? It's not possible. So, he... I think he also didn't take all opportunities to stun lock. And... What the fuck? Stop parrying those fucking jumping attacks. Seriously now. <laughs> and, um... Yeah. Which... Uh, I'm not going for stun locks all the time. He's not going for stun locks all the time. Even if he were, he's at the pretty um, <laughs> constantly cancelling force. I wonder if this counts as um, as a cast if you cancel force. So if you cast and cancel, if it negates your uh, remaining uh, casts of one. And there was the stun lock with force and his R1, which is part of his build and totally okay. Oh yeah, that backstep damage. Yeah, Iron Flash for the win. Mm. Yeah, so if you see that and look at that, even if you're not as um, parrying, as good in parrying as we are, lol, that turnaround backstep <laughs> right in my face slapped and then turned around. Even if you're the third try to end the sentence, please PvP be not that good. Um, if you try to fight in PvP, even if you're not that good and don't get the parry timing down as we did, there was not much parrying in this fight. And try to take an example of how to fight that it's honorable and entertaining. Like that. Um, manage your stamina good. Don't spam R1 all the time. Mix up your attacks. Roll around. Try to dodge. And just do fun stuff. Not always this buffing and you notice that none of us buffs. Yeah, he uses his iron flash, but that's that doesn't quite count as buff. Double kill. <laughs> Those double kills were so funny. So don't take all buffs possible. Don't be high level. We both are so level 150, I think. So yeah. Oh, also the stats, if you want to see the stats, I post a link to Juta's video. He um, shows the stats and equipment. <gasps> Juta's uh, parry! This, I think this was the only parry that he got in this whole fight. <laughs> because I was mixing up my, par my things so good and I didn't let him cast his force here. <laughs> that force spam. <laughs> so, yeah. Those were entertaining duels, good to watch, and we are not buffing. None of us is buffing, you see, and none of us is spamming. So, and this is hell of a fun. And al also when he do has the firebomb equipped and uh, uses the R2 that he would use to cast force, then he just looks at his weapon like <laughs> like he doesn't know what to do with it, which is a pretty damn fun, funny to look at move. Oh, he wrecks my face here. My twin blade. Have you only ever noticed that this twi twin blade looks fucking awesome? And also, 
twin blades. Every time I took out my twin blade, he instantly put out his um, his um, uh, shield and tried to parry me because that's the reflex that every um, good Dark Souls 2 dueler has. Um, because twin blade, bam, parry. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, I mixed up all the attacks that the twin blade has had, 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 has, has. Again, language. I'm bad at speaking English. I think also tutor's dialect is sweet. <laughs> that's awesome, that's awesome. <laughs> and, um,. Yeah, I tried to mix up all twin blade attacks and not just walking up and on one spamming because that's what he expected of me doing. But yeah, that's not what you should do if you fight against a skilled person like Judas is and um, if you use a twin blade. Because that's totally get you parried. Because he's using a target shield and target shield is uh, yeah, one of the best tools to parry. Um, even better tools would be um, uh, curved sword weapons and of course the monastery. Monastery is out of this order because it's just OP ridiculous bullshit. I didn't have the monastery on this build, otherwise I would have used it as a right hand weapon. And yeah. So we are at the end of this episode. I hope you enjoyed the fights like I and Judas did. And please subscribe, like, favorite, uh, comment and Post your improvements that I should do on my commentary and fighting style in the comments below. Um, I love to fight you all guys if you want to fight me on PC Dark Souls. And yeah, this is it. I see you all in the next one. Bye bye.